Okay, looks like we're live here. Hopefully we're going. <laughs> okay. Um, this is kind of a uh, makeshift uh, setup here. Sorry about that. We're down in the basement at mom's house. Laundry's going. It's not the best uh, sound system for sure and not the best setup. I fully understand and agree. But I wanted to get back to the circus book. I did, I did. And uh, so when I was packing for moms, I was in a bit of a rush. And um, sorry, I was getting things organized. I found a piece of Velcro. Yay! So when I was packing for moms, I was in a rush, and I don't have all of my images that I had um, printed off of the internet. I don't have everything that I had wanted, but I figured I would start to make something because I want to start working in this book again. And uh, yeah, there's the beautiful, there's the beautiful big top. So I think what I want to do here is I have a couple different options. I think it'd be kind of cool to do the sideshows. Um, I think I still want to have you know, kind of the setup page for this. Um, I do have more pictures of caravans and stuff coming into town. Um, I am truly thinking about, where'd she go? Where is she? I kind of love her for the front cover. Can you see? Can you see guys okay? Let me see here. Now, I cannot see if you're talking to me. Just to let you guys know, if you are joining me on this day, I cannot hear you whatsoever. And again, I'm sorry about the <laughs> noise of the washer and dryer. It just is what it is. But, uh... So I think what we could do is, uh, I think we should do some sideshows, right? Um, so we have the snake lady, I have, let me pull out my images. No, where the heck are they? Seriously. I'm so discombobulated these days, it does drive me nuts. But, you know, that's par for the course with everything that I have going on. Okay, this is going to be a main act. Wait till you see what I've got planned for those guys. Sideshow. We got Tattooed Lady. That's a main act. She would be a sideshow, and she's so cool. Um, it's cool. It's a cool reference photo. We're gonna keep that. He would be a cool sideshow. He's spooky. I kind of like him. Let's see. He's he's got. Hmm. The clowns. That's a spooky picture. Snake lady. Okay, we've got some crazy images. Those are going to be main act, main act, main. Main act. And again, I have a full, another folder of these. Those are names. Would he be a sideshow? He's so gross. Going to be a main act. I don't know. Tattooed lady. Tumblr. Bearded lady. These guys would all be sideshows. There's a smaller one of her. She's going to be more workable in the book. Main act. Bearded lady. I really do wish I had my other images. Hmm. 
That might be kind of cool to mix in with it. Swimsuit people. I was going to do a whole swimmers book too, which I think would be great. Really fun images you can use with that. Strong lady. I think those would be more main act people. Main act. Main act. Show. A little larger one of that. Oh goodness. Sorry guys. This is not the most exciting thing to go through here. It was, I swear the old costumes I used to make were so, so gruesome. <laughs> people I was looking for. This is the image. So these would all be sideshow people. This guy is probably... Those are more main acts. Okay. So, we're going to just start with that because oh, I've got half my images out. Kind of cool too. <laughs> okay, sideshow. Okay, so I'm thinking of doors, I'm thinking of windows, I'm thinking of ways to make it interactive, I'm thinking of frame pages. So cool. And she's very cool. So let's just uh, cut those guys out. Relatively straight. Try to tear your pages towards you. Unless you want the white edge. Care for the white edge. Probably better to do it on a flat surface than on my book. Try to get them straight. So it's kind of a hard choice with the surface books because. Um, Images were, were tough to find. I don't really love the way that the animals were treated in circuses. Um, you know, they were fairly cruel. Some of them were. And harsh conditions for the, you know, for the actors and the animals together. So, it's hard to know. Okay, where's my Mod Podge? There it is. Oh, so Mod Podge does freeze. <laughs> it does freeze. And it exploded because I left it. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm at my mom's house for Christmas. I decided to surprise her. So, did I, did I tell you this already? That's why I'm in the basement. That's why I have just a partial setup of my stuff. for Christmas. And if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. These guys are so cool. Okay. 
So how do we want to do our pages? Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at our signature here first. Okay. So first thing that we want to do is glue the last page to the first page. And we do want to keep this guy in here too for the stability of the book. We might actually want to uh, all of those pages get to that. I think I think I'm going to do that real fast. So I'm apologizing that you're live here while I'm doing this. Of course, I would edit this part out because. You know how to already use products here, how to do this stuff. You don't need to see me do it. This book is old, so it's really absorbing all of that Mod Podge. And I want to make sure I get in this gully. Perfect. And then this is the last page of this signature. As you can see, it's pulling here a little bit, and we want to make sure that we glue this to there. I'm thinking a uh, window page here. And maybe I will go back through and do the um, sets of window pages. I think those are super cool. Address the signature real quick. Let's take out uh, two pages. I'm just reducing the signature so that we know that the bulk of the book has to be reduced, right? So we're going to look also at the next signature and we'll take out two pages from that center signature also. See how happily this book wants to give up its signatures. Do not tear the, um, you can take out this paper, but do not break the strings. You want those strings to stay intact as much as possible. And I hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. I haven't said that already. Okay. There we did not have two pages. So I'm just gonna go through real quick and, and make some pages for myself to work with. I know I've got two signatures here. So, gosh, I'm live though. I don't know. I don't know if I should have recorded this first and then just done individual. Five seconds or five minute uploads or what? But I get to work through my process, right? So the surprise yesterday was a great success with my mom. Oh, I just glued the wrong things together. It's 
It's okay. We'll make a strong page here. So that's with the board. And we'll just do this to this guy. Glue two or three pages together. Three pages just makes it stronger, right? And I don't think I have, hold on, did I, did I bring? Sorry. Just checking to see if I have any. I was looking for some more ephemera, but I'll just I'll just use uh, these book pages. I like having some interest, additional interest on the edges. Okay. I also threw these in at the last minute. This was out of a six pack of beer. Hold up. I don't know what I'm doing. But that's just kind of too cool of an element not to look at and see. What could we do with this? I don't know what images we would put on there. What images would we use? Okay, that will be used for something. I guarantee it. I'm not going to use it now because I'm on a different, different, different thing altogether. Can you guys see? Okay, let me double check. Yeah, yeah, looks like you're good. Hopefully, this is working. All right.
and I brought all my distressed odd sides with me. And I want to keep in this same theme, the tent theme, right? stuff with me. I would put um, pieces of the tissue paper. I would put pieces of the flowers, the, you know, butterflies. Make this interesting back here. Okay, uh, there's no sense for you guys to watch all of this, is there? I don't know. I'm not going to move on until it's done. So just... Spray doesn't work. Wild honey distress. That's always a good place to start. Oh, I just got it all over all of my images. And then I just smeared it. Hold on. I mean, I don't mind getting it on some of them. Of course. But. 
And this is mom's table and not mine. So I better cover up the table. This is going to be bad. What it is. All right. This is just a little bit of Mod Podge over the top of it. Um, this will also help to set. I'm doing it very lightly. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to make it mushy, but it's good to set the color here a little bit. Okay. How do I want to do this? I know I want to do the same thing on this page. I really have to let this dry. Put a little copper paint. It's just deco art metallic acrylic paint. Grab out the fire brick. I know that that will look really good with this. Fire brick distress spray stain. Down. It's okay. We're looking for a tattered look. We're looking for things that have seen hard times, right? And we want kind of the same color scheme. See how that's going to work together? For me, I like having similarities throughout my book. Having, uh, oh, having it work together is important to me. Okay. Do I make a door, make a window, make a Maybe you can grab that sideshow picture.
What's that? Oh, that's that heat. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ma. Oh, do you have any, um, like, paper towels down here? Yeah. That would be awesome. And there's a possibility of me getting stuff on your table. I think it's your table. Is it my table? I think so, because this guy got Oh. Where you oh yeah, it is. Oh good. I don't have to worry. No, no worries. I don't want to get your table all full of ink, but there's really nothing I can do. I mean, I everything gets covered with ink in my world. It just happens. No choice. ground coffee. I don't know if I'm actually recording or not. What's that? <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually recording or not. Oh. <laughs> well. I went I went I went on YouTube live because I don't have my computer to do the um uh editing but I wanted to, you know, make something and show people what I'm making. Okay, so now, now I start cutting out the windows. Hmm. Do you have a board that I could use, like a piece of cardboard? Oh wait, I've got stuff. Hold on. Where is that board for that? The small cutting board is kind of what I need, but I have this will work. As long as I don't cut through it, it'll be fine. Okay. And I'll definitely take some um, texture paste and go around the edges with that. Okay. Exacto. There it is. Ruler. Yeah, I would take one little piece of that though. Let me see here. Perfect. Thank you, Ma. I decided I better speeding up. Oh yeah, I mean if we still need to go shopping today, that's not gonna work well, out. Well, I don't well. have to really I mean I know exactly what I need. I need to get Oh, yeah. For Christmas. I was out shopping one day. He said, what, what are you doing? I mean, you're just calling to talk to me. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm shopping. What? Will you stop it? Oh, God. Stop that shopping. Just buy a bottle of wine. <laughs> well, that's good. That makes it easy. <laughs> makes it easy. At 
least we're all on the same page. We're fine. I mean, we'd all like, I would like to find wonderful gifts. But you might, you got 50,000 people to talk to. my budget. Exactly. I don't have to do that. Oh my god, I can't believe what you can get in here. Sure. Are you sure you want to put your Levi's there? Yes. Just for a while. They don't need to be cooked. But they do need to be shrunk a little bit. Is there anything you touch on the shrimp in there? Shouldn't be in that load. Oh, the red shirt, though. There is a red blouse that needs to not go in there. This one that I just threw back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's. It's all wrinkly though, so you'll wanna do something with it. Yeah. Oh my god. Stop. What? This is the way Rhonda does laundry though. Well, you gotta get it done. Oh, she just jams it. In. You gotta get it done. Yeah. No reason why not to. I do laundry like that. I've done laundry like that for years. But you know, I worry about like your nets. I don't. That's it. Do you have anything on that you want to put in? Mm -hmm. No, not right now. No, they're not. more comfortable in the hard one. Well, yeah, but it'll do. Looks like you have to bend over quite a bit. Well, that's pretty. That's how I sit. Ma. It's oh. there's just no choice when you've got when you're working in front of you. There's there's not a lot of choice. That that uh, drafting table I bought for five bucks at a garage sale. Perfect. It's nice. It's a nice table. I don't. I certainly did not need it. Except I cut through both of them. Next time I will not cut through both of them.
I like it. I like it a lot. And that background is awesome. And it will only get better with the um, crackle paste over the top of it. I have some new stencils that I'm excited to try out. And again, since I have the same color scheme, it's going to work well together. So let's do a frame page first. I have acetate that I could put in the center of that. Um, this is still very wet. So, You pull paper, it won't actually tear. Okay. So, I'm basically going to do the same thing on this side. Um, because since these two pages are going to work together, I do want to have, again, the words, you know, I'll put them around the edges again. Um, So I'm going to um, uh, disconnect you guys for a while, and then I will bring you back when I'm starting up uh, choosing the next images. Okay? Alright, so we will chat soon. Have a great day, everybody. Okay. Bye. Oops. Let me see here. Oh, come